Hello Gemini, I'm here to read your cards from the 1st of March, so Angels in Universe. What would you like to tell Gemini? I'm Susie from the Gift 202. We'd like some universe energy for Gemini, please. Gemini, Gemini, universe. Give us the first of March for the next seven days. What would you like, Gemini, to know? Seven days of the first of March. Gemini from the first of March for the next seven days. The first of March for the next seven days. The first of March for the next seven days. The first of March for the next seven days. The first of March for the next seven days. The first of March for the next seven days. The first of March for the next seven days. 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 One, two, three, four. Gemini, three more cards. First of March for the next seven days. First of March for the next seven days. First of March for the next seven days. Seven days. First of March for the next seven days. First of March for the next seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Blimey. Okay. One, two, three, six. This is like a two week reading worth of cards, Gemini, but if they fall out, I have to take them. And most of the time, when the cards fall out like that, it's usually um, because. I'm looking at like the death and the Queen of Swords here with the Nine of Wands. Do you know what I mean? It's like they want to tell you it's going to get better, right? <laughs> so ending to something with the Queen of Swords on there, it's like you're cold, you're out, I'm done, I don't want to know. There's a death of a situation. She's throwing this water out. She's cold. She's got mountains behind her. She does. She's she's got mental clarity. She doesn't want to speak to anybody. Or if she does want to speak to them, it's the absolute truth. So you better not even, you don't want to go to the ice cream. No one wants to go and meet the ice cream because she turns you to ice, right? So the nine of, I mean, it's it's like, it is a talkative card, but it's a truth card. It's like, there's no, there's nothing being flowered up here. It's, it is what it is. It's going to cut right through with that sword to the truth of a situation. It's a death, it's something's ended, and this is why. Just when you think it's safe to go back in the water, something comes up and stops you from getting to your destination. Um, you kind of talk to your friends about a love situation and they might give you the wrong advice um, because it, it makes you confused. You might chase someone away in the night and... The, they give you the wrong advice about somebody, okay? I would stick to your clarity, stick to what you think. If something comes up, don't take on other people's dramas, don't take on other people's uh, advice, I would say. Um, the, your, there's a message about starting a, maybe a new job or applying something for the future uh, that's in this earth sign comes in with this king of pentacles and it's like a new beginning is offered or a new beginning in love and it's like uh, it's like you'll take anything at the moment uh gemini you just want to go into the unknown um by taking this new beginning it could floor a situation or if it's a new beginning you're going back into a, lo a love situation try not to go back into it because it ends worse the second time and you could lose thinking you're it's like you're offered this king of pentacles so you're offered you get this message to be the king of pentacles or this earth sign from this earth sign for a new beginning but your egos flaw this you end it so it's almost a beginning and then a total ending and it's like what so or it's a or you begin something and you completely end this situation here which is um i think you you need a new beginning and i think monetary yes it's great if it's for business if it's in love, someone 
could come in all of a sudden for a new beginning because you when you chase them away they come up for this new beginning and then you have this big row and it's like you say things you might regret um and then you're thinking it's it's put me down a pedal or so or like um uh, this is a promotion this is part of a team this is not being part of the team this is falling off your pedestal so by ending this situation you could lose a job um or or a level of 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 expertise of being a manager or something but you don't really care so something ending and there's something beginning and there's something ending worse the second time but this victory you get here with this marriage or love um it, there's a commitment you've got the ten of cups um there's a victory it's almost like once you leave that job or that team you get the fleece it's like yay now i can have this happy family and be nice and get have a commitment go on a spiritual quest um but there's still a kind of secret exposed here and should i stay should i go feeling as well um you might get a payout of an inheritance of some money gemini and a brand new business or passionate beginning someone offers you a new job um and then you're you, you kind of you're you're thinking about it because you're holding very tightly because after this situation it's like oh it's a really good offer and i can be the boss of my and it's a new thing and there's money offered and but i don't want to go back to this situation again so it takes all your courage because you've just got maybe this happy family back or this marriage back um you've been offered maybe a new job at the same time but in the meantime because you've got this happy family back you don't want to leave this person again um in case this they get cold and stop talking to you do you know what i mean or it's the same same uh it's like you're going back out i guess it's like the strength you've got the courage to get you need to fight this thing to get back out um and do this new thing again um you will get your love back you will get a victory back it'd be better the second time for commitment but then there's all there's this thing where you're offered your ships come in there's a new business there's a new thing and it's like oh i've just i've just got my security i've just managed to hold on to the to what i've got right now and it's like you have to fight that that beast to get out of your confine again and you did you, because you know you need to you need to be out in the world you need to be working yes you might have this happy family but there's something else that you really do need to do and it's a spiritual quest and this emperor is going to offer you it's new beginning it's like a new money it's new business it's a new creative adventure um it's like you're starting again with something you're starting again with this page this king of pentacles this fool but you have to it might mean an initial another something you've gone back to is going to end worse a second time it's like you're offered a new job so you have to end this this job that you you hate or this relationship that you hate so that you could be demoted so that you could get this fleece and get, get back into the family commitment marriage type mode and but there's still that confusion there which won't end till the month of the moon and in the middle, it's like everything's going for you, but there's all this indecision <laughs> at the end of this week. And it could go through this week. On the bottom of the deck, you have got the the three of uh, of, of cups. So it's marriage, it's new celebrations. It's uh, There's new things coming. And there's a reason why things are blowing up in your face at the moment and going wrong because there's this new thing coming and it's better you you can have it all but it's going to take sort of a little bit of <sighs> there's love and commitment spiritual quests spiritual commitment and security a new beginning in business and it's going to be hard to get out and do this new thing again because you're worried you're going to upset the apple cart or upset the love and you're not you just need to 
to be joyful and celebrate. That's what I can see. Just just keep positive. At the moment, you there's a debt. It's like cutting everything out because it's too confusing. But you're going to be offered this new beginning, so you're definitely going to have to cut something out. Maybe take a drop in money to get this fleece, to get this happy family, to get this quest, this this house or this. There's something coming in for you. Your boats are coming in, and and it's it's a really it's really. <laughs> It's great. Business is great. Money's great. You're going to get out. You're confined. Love is fantastic. It's something to do with the home. There might be confusion around the home. Um, but there's new security, happy families, ten of pentacles, ten of cups and commitment there. It's spiritually led. But initially now, this is why these things are having to end. Okay. So don't keep being decisive. Make decisions, Gemini. She's the queen of swords. It's an end to maybe feeling cold towards a relationship. It's an end to taking on other people's burdens because it stops you from getting to the island or where you want to go. It's the end of confusion because you want to start a new um, business. This uh, earth sign is here to, to help you with this new beginning, but you may have to floor it initially to get the, the fleece, the happy family, the is a lot going on really Gemini I'm just going to ask the romance angel cards what they'd like you to know 1st of March for Gemini for the next 7 days 1st of March Gemini okay <laughs> so we've got unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going okay forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past you experience more love in your present moment that's right you have to floor something it's just not working to, and you, you might even go back into it for a night and just think, no. And then there's this pl playfulness to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. That's what I said. If you be joyful, be celebratory, you'll get this all, all this back. Okay. Um, and the bottom of the deck left on the table is express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, unrequited love because there's not enough attraction or chemistry at the moment. To keep, to keep it going, right? Because you're just cold. Things are ending. When you start to release and forgive and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. Okay? So there's new beginning here. There's a new beginning coming. Be playful and express your love. Be attractive. Gemini. What would the angels, the spirit guides, like Gemini to know? What would the angels... Passion. Trust and follow your renewed passion in your love life and career. Gentleness. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations and environments. What would the angels give me? One more card for like Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. The angels like to know what the angels like. It's like you, you, you might be demoted before you get this fleece, before you realise what truly matters, which is love, commitment, the house. Yes, it's still confusing. You still secrets, maybe, um, and you don't know whether to stay or go. But you're going to be offered this security and this new beginning with this emperor, this boss or, or father figure. And you're going to initially try and hold on to your principles and your foundation so tightly but you need to fight that and get out of your confine and let go of old principles. Otherwise, you return down here to this cold, warm, warm, cold to the warmth, warmth of relationship type area. You have a special bond with animals. Your pets on earth and in heaven are watched over by angels. So you need to be very very gentle with your there's passion here but be but ha, make it a gentle thing a gentle passion because it's coming in this passion but for the minute you need to be gentle with yourself you need to get with animals to lower your blood pressure um you know maybe you do have animals and they you need to care for them but they're watching over you bringing you this gentleness and you, it says, surround yourself with gentle people, situations and environments. If you hear snoring, that's the dog on the carpet. That's my gentle animal. And if you hear splashing, there's a goldfish here behind the camera. And that's, um, she splashes a lot. 
because she thinks she's going to be fed 24 7 but the comfort of animals um yeah trust and follow your new passion in your love life and career this is what i'm saying there's career and there's love so it all could be combined into one but it's going to be fantastic go on gemini i'll see you soon and um, i'll do the 48 hours ones as well at the end when i've done the 12 signs all right please give me a like and uh, share that would be great bye bye